Hello everyone, this is Mustafa Anwar and this is the first episode of Extreme Endodontics video series. In the last era, we were using manual K files like size 10, 15, 20 and 25 to do the glide path step during our root canal treatment procedure. But now, it's the era of using the mechanical glide path where now we are using rotary nickel titanium files. These files are specifically designed for the glide path step having small tip size, either standardized size like 10, 15, or 20, or an intermediate size of 12, 13, 14, maybe 17 or 18, according to the manufacturer. Also, it has different tapers of 2%, 3%, up to 4%, depending on the tip size and the manufacturer. So, we use these files to manage MB2 canals and middle mesial canals directly without manual files. Yes, you can do that. And now, let's see together the video so we can learn how to do mechanical glide path using rotary glide path files. As you can see here, I'm using the manual K file trying to scout and negotiate the MB2 canal in the upper first molder. But actually, I couldn't go beyond the orifice except with 2 mm only. So I decided to shift directly to mechanical glide path using a glide path file having a tip size of 13 and taper of 2.5%. And actually it worked. Let's see the video together. And as you can see, I'm negotiating the canal very safely and very efficiently in a fast way. And this is how we can do mechanical glide path. Stay tuned for more videos. See you soon.